So, I'm going to log into my DVR. From here, you can click on load all cameras. We obviously don't have all cameras loaded uh, or connected, but these are all the cameras that we do have connected. And then from here, if you want to just view, well, this is what we'll do. We'll make it one screen, one uh, camera. If you want to make this um, the mainstream or the high resolution, then you would have to manually switch this from substream to mainstream. Right now it's on the substream. All of these are on uh, stream number two, which is the substream. So if you wanted this to change over, you can make that mainstream by going to stream one. This camera is not an HD camera, so it's not gonna get any better than this. But if you do have an HD camera installed in your system, then you should be able to go from this to the HD screen. Um, and then if you wanted to apply this change to all of your streams, then you could do that down here. So by clicking that, then all of these have been switched over to HD mode. Uh, other than that, if you can't get to this uh, screen where you're seeing these videos or if you're getting any kind of message about an outdated plugin then go ahead and update the plugin while you have the window closed the Internet Explorer window closed and make sure you have the following internet settings so in your internet options you click on the security and then custom level scroll down until you see ActiveX. And there should be eight or nine of these. Anytime you have ActiveX, make sure you have it set to enable or prompt. Enable is more automatic and prompt is more secure. So I have one here, one here, 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 and here. So I'm gonna select OK and OK and uh, you could you could then either refresh your tab or close that IE window and uh, launch a new window go back to your DVR's IP address log in and then you should see this page so if you wanted to again switch from substream to mainstream on one camera you do that here if you wanted to do it on all cameras you do that with the switch at the bottom